a lot of the people watching my content now, like my channel is older than them. And that's kind of hard for me to kind of like realize that because it's like, I have been doing it for so long. So it's just like something that I've been doing. And it's like that time has passed very quickly. What's up everyone, Victoria here with popculture.com. And today I'm so very excited to be talking to like literally a pioneer in YouTube. Uh, I Justine, hello, beautiful, how are you? Hi, I'm doing so awesome. Thanks so much for chatting with me. This is great. <laughs> oh my gosh, of course. Well, we were just talking about how you're like in, in a beautiful place. I won't give it away just in case for privacy purposes, if you want to keep it secret, but. Um... Oh good, I've been posting on Instagram. I am in Hawaii and it's my most just absolute favorite place. And we used to come here a lot more and you know, things have finally started opening up and it's great because it's, we've been like super masked up, super private. Like, I think I've seen less people here than I have in like Los Angeles because we've just been like staying in the house and hiking away from people. So it's been really cool. Well, there's a lot of open land there in, in Mm -hmm. Hawaii. So like really, you know, you can kind of stay away from people if you want to, which is great. (laughs) Yeah. It's so amazing. I mean, there's obviously the touristy parts, but like, there's just so many beautiful hikes and just like places to go that it's, it's incredible. Oh, good. Well, listen, I'm going to live vicariously through you because Hawaii is one of my favorite places. So please enjoy it for both of us. <laughs> Anytime you want to come back, let me know. <laughs> I will. Absolutely. I would love to get there ASAP. You have no idea. Um, listen, last year was a doozy for us all. This year, I think we're hopefully maybe seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. How is your year so far? I just want to check in with you before we get started. Yeah, I mean, it's been good. It's I think from last year I mean it was so bad that it's just like you know things obviously I think we've sort of adapted to this new normal and for me like I'm kind of for as social of a person as I am I'm very private and love to just like spend time at home so actually getting to spend time at home was kind of refreshing but also I am so excited that things are starting to open up and we're kind of adapting to like this new normal yeah well and you're so right I mean we are adapting that's 100 percent. I mean we really don't have an option at this point yeah um Listen, you, I consider to be a pioneer in YouTube. Uh, you got started very early on in like what, 2006? Yes. Which is crazy to think about because I mean, a lot of the people watching my content now, like my channel is older than them. And that's kind of hard for me to kind of like realize that because it's like, I have been doing it for so long. So it's just like something that I've been doing. And it's like that time has passed very quickly. Listen, I just, I'm in my thirties now and I I've gotten to that point where I'm like, wow, some of the movies that I love and grew up with are older than the people that I'm communicating with online. Right. So that's insane. It's, um, it's wild. did you ever imagine YouTube getting as big as it was or as, I don't as think so. I mean, I think I was just kind of joining it because I was teaching myself to edit. Sorry. There's a, a lovely Hawaiian helicopter tour going by. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think when I joined it, I wasn't really expecting anything. I mean, I was honestly just posting videos for the sake of like learning to edit and just share them with my friends. And then when I started seeing these comments pop up from people I didn't know, I was like, this is interesting. Like there's something here. I didn't know what was there, but I knew that there was something and I just continued to pursue it and spent a lot of my early years trying to convince people that this was a thing. And now I'm like, oh my God, this is great. I don't have to convince anyone. They already get it. (laughs) Now you're like, hey, I was actually onto something. Right, Um, right. As a female in YouTube, there's not a lot of women that are really doing what you're doing and that are so good at it. I mean, I don't want to... um, dilute the success of the women on YouTube, but you really are at the forefront of that. How does that feel to just be a really successful woman in, in that online world? It's really exciting. And also I did have the early adopter advantage. So I've been doing it for, like you said, 15 years. So I have had the opportunity to really meet and see a lot of incredible like female creators who have started you know, obviously way after I have, because they're obviously also a lot younger. And it's so cool to see because obviously growing up, like I didn't have sort of that role model type person of like what I wanted to be. So I kind of filled that role, but it also was really difficult because people were always making fun of me for wanting to be on the computer or playing video games or wanting to be a computer programmer because that wasn't the traditional role. And I think with the internet and with all of the things that we have now, it's like we have that ability to be whatever we want and find people that like the same things as we do. And it's, it's very, very exciting. Well, one thing I really like about your page is you're into the techie side of, of 
things. And do you have like a favorite piece of technology that you've experienced over the years that really stands out to you? Honestly, like, I think it's my phone because the things that you can do now, you can basically create feature films with just a phone. And it's not any specific phone because I do cover a lot of the phone tech and the technology has gotten so good. And it's like the, the price point as well has been coming down. So it's like to buy a video camera that my phone right now, like back when I started 15 years ago would have probably been like $60,000 or something just absurd. So it's like, you can do that with just a phone now, what yeah. people are doing, like, you know, feature films. So it's, oh, girl. It's, it's amazing. In the news side of stuff. I mean, I have friends, you know, in, in local news, they're going live from their phone. Right. Yeah. You just, if you could do everything and it's yeah. amazing. Well, we're going to talk about, you partnered with Verizon. I'm going to get to that in just a minute. Cause I'm really interested in, in what you have to say about this, this is very exciting, uh, but I want to hit some Marvel stuff really quick. Um, Brie Larson, you're a Marvel fan, correct? I am. Yes. I just started rewatching all of the films in the timeline order. So it's been really crazy because it's like, I've seen them all over the past, like however many years, but watching them in sort of this order has been really cool. Well, I was going to say, I was just mentioning to someone actually earlier today, how I'm so fascinated with the Marvel and DC universe and how well connected every storyline is. So is it cool to like, do you see things differently watching it like in order back to back? so different because there's these small little things and it's like obviously I've never really been into like comic books so it's like I'm more into like the movies and the tv series so mm-hmm. I don't know these characters from the comic books so it's like everything that I'm learning is either from the internet or from people telling me or from these movies so yeah. it's like the small little things that you pick up that second rewatch is incredible oh my so God. it's been really fun I know you mentioned Brie Larson I absolutely love her she I'm- is also a fellow gamer and we had played Animal Crossing together we didn't play together but I uh, we talked a lot about it in um like during the pandemic because it's like that's what people were doing and so it was fun chatting with her about that well I was gonna say she just got on YouTube she like made the decision to start a YouTube channel did you have anything to do with that <laughs> So that's where I talked to her in her launch video. She went and got a bunch of advice from YouTube creators. And then we both like were bonding over like our love for like Nintendo and showing like our Nintendo switches. And, and it's been really cool because it's, it's getting to see a different side of her, which is incredible because it's, it's the, that part that people love so much about the internet and about YouTube is it's, you have that personal connection with people. And I think even after doing this for so long, I sometimes forget that because I had shared so much of myself every single day like I was daily vlogging that I kind of pulled back a little bit so it's like it is such a fresh reminder to to watch that type of content and remember like this is what people love and it's mm-hmm. it's so fun to see people like that, that side of the world kind of engaging in it were you able to give her any advice I think she did a pretty good job I honestly just told her be her authentic self and people are gonna love it and I think she's been doing a great job I love that. Um, well, is there a Marvel film that, okay, well, let me ask this first. If you got the opportunity to be somewhere in the MC universe, would you? Oh, a hundred percent. And it's so <laughs> funny. This is a long time ago. I asked the internet because I was like, man, I really want to find like a superhero to be. Everyone was like, oh, you could be Captain Marvel. You're blonde. You could this. And then I like was like, oh, that'd be perfect. I Googled it. I was like, shoot Brie Larson is already cast and it was just like that week she had been casted and they had just announced it I was like missed my opportunity but honestly you know what I'm not even mad about it like this is yeah she was so great I actually really really enjoyed that film oh my gosh I love that well if, do you have like a favorite film in the MC universe oh my gosh so I think actually Guardians of the Galaxy the first one for yeah. whatever reason like when I saw that I was like this is the best yeah. movie ever just the character development and just everything about it like it was it was so good but now even going back and rewatching, it's like okay I forgot how much I loved Iron Man like the first Thor movie is so freaking funny and then watching the, the latest Loki series I was like okay maybe I like Loki so and then I also love the whole Daredevil series I'm like there's so many yes and it's it's honestly I don't I can't really pick a favorite but I would say Guardians of the Galaxy I think it's probably the one it's good. That is a good one. I do like the Thor films too. The Thor films are, are pretty great. I'm excited for the new one coming out. Um, by the way, is, I'm asking so many comic book questions. One, because I know you're into Marvel, but also <laughs> our sister site is comicbook.com. So like, I'm in this world with them. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Well then we'll just hop over there after and chat about that. <laughs> I know, right? Cause you did a video recently where coach had done a partnership with Spider-Man or the MC universe. And they yes. created the Spider-Man purse. I mean, like, girl, oh you my gosh, that out there. You're going to be in Marvel, you know, uh, a Marvel film here soon. For sure. Like I'll take Marvel, but I'm also a huge Star Wars fan. I actually started doing lightsaber training. So it's, so I started doing this uh, martial arts card. Yeah. So the martial arts I was training was called Kali. So it's like a Filipino martial arts with like mostly like smaller, like weapons, like stick based. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of started transitioning into the lightsaber. Because my trainer was like, we can, we can do the same thing with lightsabers. Like, why didn't you tell me this? So this, all this past year, like I started doing that and it has been so much fun. And so now like, I'm kind of so into what this looks like just picture like a lightsaber battle in star wars like that's what i've been doing with another person and we like have a lightsaber battle every morning 7 a.m uh out in my backyard it's, it's totally normal oh my gosh this is amazing literally I, I even was... i even travel with my lightsaber like i have it in the room back there like it's no joke Girl. <laughs> you'll have to see the verizon video i did yes. because i actually was battling the robo calls with a lightsaber it hasn't oh, it's not out as the time of recording this so yes. you have haven't seen it yet, yes. but when it does come out, it's so oh my good. Gosh. Well, we need to talk about that. First off, that's amazing. One of my uh, camera operators, I wish he was on this call with me because he would just be gushing right now because we surprised him with a lightsaber two years ago um, when we were in that's office. Amazing. He about like cried. He was so excited to get a lightsaber. Oh, that's great. We all got to play with it. It was so fun. Um, but let's it's talk so about cool. your partnership with Verizon. Uh, Verizon is, you're doing their call filter app to essentially filter out the robo calls, which I need to download this app like five days ago. Yeah. And you said you have Verizon too. So it's free for all Verizon customers. And the amazing thing about it is I was telling my sister about it. She goes, Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know about this. I was like, oh, me as the tech expert, I was like, how did I not have this on my phone already? She's like, yeah, I've been using it for quite a while now. And it's what? amazing because you're able to, it just automatically will detect a lot of spam calls. And sometimes, you know, those ones will sneak through, but I've made it now like my personal like vendetta. Like every time I get one that it doesn't get, you're able to actually report it. And then that kind of helps the entire sort of phone yeah. universe add that number into the universal block list. So there's so many different features in there. And the best part about it, it's free for all Verizon customers. So like, there's literally like, there's no excuse, like, go like you got you download, you it. download it <laughs> <laughs> like today i mean well we get so many of them and it used to not be really an issue at least that i can remember on my cell phone but literally in the last i would say three to four years it just has progressively gotten worse and worse and worse and i know people are getting really frustrated with it because you know obviously some numbers that you don't recognize are legit people that are trying to get a hold of you for a, a right. genuine reason and then you've got you know robots no, yeah. I've missed so many calls because of it. And like yeah. now, you know, just having that kind of peace of mind that uh, like it'll say, oh, the spam has been detected. And that is so amazing because the same like you, like I just stopped answering my phone yeah, and I'd missed so many calls. I'd missed important deliveries. I'd missed so many different things. And I think it's great that Verizon is doing this to kind of bring that confidence back to like, let us answer an unknown call. And it's not going to be spam. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to go download that today because I absolutely need that. Cause yes, I mean, missing way too many calls that I don't need to be missing. And then picking up the phone calls that are the robots. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. And then, okay. I don't know if this happens to you, but the one that gets me all the time is they will call. It's like the neighborhood one. So they have a neighborhood filter because they will call from my area code. So I'll automatically think that it's something important or it's oh. a family member. And so I was like, oh, it has to be real. And no. So they have like a neighborhood call filter and a block list too, which has been super, super helpful. I always get the ones that call that like threaten my social security. They're like, someone stole your identity. <laughs> this robot that can't put a sentence together. And you're like, oh, okay, real cool. I mean, at first I was like a little alarmed because it sounded like legit. And then I made a call to social security and they're like, uh, no, that's not us. right. It's um, like, you always got to go to the source. I'm like, okay, maybe I do want car warranty. <laughs> Yeah. but not through you. Like I'm going to go to the dealership. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh. You're just so fascinating. I could sit here and talk to you all day. Um, this just is so fun. What is next for you? I know that this year, gosh, we're creeping up towards the end fall is right around the corner. Um, what's, what do you have on the calendar for the rest of the year so far? Yeah. I mean, we're going into tech season here very soon. So it's like all the new tech year and gearing up for the holidays. So that's like, 
that's the time. So I'm very excited about that because there's always so much new tech that becomes readily available towards the end of the, the year. So definitely ready for that. Good. Oh, Justine, you're amazing. Thank you yes, so thank much. Thank you. You too. Time. I'm going to live vicariously through you uh, because you're in Hawaii. I can see like a little bit of the background in the reflection oh, yeah. of the window. And I'm just, <laughs> oh. My friends are here. My sister's there. And then next week we're actually working, but like, let's be real. This is not a bad place to work. Yeah. So you can't complain. Go and enjoy it, girl. Well, listen, thank you so much for your time today. Thank You're you. absolutely amazing. Everyone, for more on Justine and your other favorite celebrities, make sure you keep it right here at popculture.com.